So I'm here at the Monroeville Mall. Now this mall was featured on the deadmalls.com website back when it was a website before they really retired the website and moved over to YouTube. So they said that this mall was not dead actually because, and they only featured it because it was in the movie Dawn of the Dead. But after COVID, <laughs> got things like this. It will, COVID's still around, but got things like this where you've got emergency exit only. Got vacation stuff. You've got army recruitment. <laughs> Signs of a mall not doing great. And I'm not saying that as a as an attack on this mall because because it's actually really cool architecturally. I mean, look at these marble columns. So this is interesting. You've got one level that's Dix and one level that's J.C. Penny. Gonna be honest, I'm still recovering from surgery with Lyme disease, so you're not gonna see all levels. Of, you're not gonna see all of both levels of the mall. You're just gonna get commentary about stuff that is either above or below. So here's that JC Penny we were talking about. It's more of these marble columns we were admiring. And these really are something special. Huh? And again, this movie was in Dawn Dawn of the Dead, so. So it has a history of being in movies. Got a couple empty spaces here. Whippy old boxing gym. It's a sheer sign of a mall doing absolutely fantastic. <laughs> but here's the thing. This mall was featured on the deadmalls.com website when it was still a website before they did the YouTube channel. And it's still here. And I'd say it's probably 70% occupancy rate. That store down there is empty. It's got a Really cool looking facade though. Got you can as you can see the marble columns. They go all the way. <laughs> so like this is a beautiful mall. It's unfortunate that you've got those two stores there given where they put their money. Though I guess you could say that about a lot of stores you see in malls. <laughs> but I know Victoria's Secret is particularly egregious from what I've heard. <laughs> Let's look down this way. I just want to say I'm really exerting myself to do this video and it's good for me <laughs> to be doing that. <laughs> ah, this is a cute little section of the mall mm -hmm. that, that you wouldn't expect. It's called the district. <laughs> it's above the food court it looks like. so go down and show you the food court. So cool. <laughs> yeah, this stuff does look pretty cool. I'd love to wear some of that. It's amazing. <laughs> I mean, I think I'd look great in, in that. <laughs>
clear sign of a Maldon grate right there. Oh, and you've got an outdoor section out here. So that's trying to adopt. And I mean, clearly they've had some success if if it was even worth mentioning on the deadmalls.com website back when that website was updated and it's, it's still kicking. They've clearly done some adopting to the times, even, even if it was mostly featured because of the name of a movie it was featured in. We'll show you these, this elevator here. Like, I mean, yeah, it has a more, a, a less impressive looking facade, but once you get in here, look at, look at that glass. It's a hexagonal elevator, I think. So, you can see right into the food court. So looking ar around the food court, it's mostly standard stuff. There's still a Sabaro here. I know they're in decline as a chain. But here are some suspicious things. Got a news corner. You've got a clothing store and, and lids. This is in the food court. But, but most of the stuff is typical to what you, you'd see in, in the food court. Seeing that Charlie's Philly Steaks makes me think of Century 3 because towards the end at, at Century 3, there was still the sign up for the old Charlie's Philly Steaks. It wasn't open. It's just the sign was still up, like it had not been taken down. So something about this mall, they've got a few things that have that upscale with the dollar sign logo. So I mean, I wonder if those stores are connected. So here's a little look at the lower level. I'm gonna go back up to the upper level. No. There, there you see the upscale beauty. That's another store in this mall. So there's the end of the district, which was the thing above the food court. One thing that really puzzles me, they've got non-food vendors in the food court, but they're using this kiosk to advertise the store. By the way, great sign of them all in good health, but <laughs> they're, they're using that to advertise Pittsburgh Popcorn Company, which is open in the mall, but it's not in the food court and it's a food vendor. Also, Auntie Anne's not in the food court, although that's pretty typical, to be fair. Give you a guess which store is going to be here last. And towards the end, and we're we're nearing the end of end of the mall. And
I'm gonna go down the, the escalators to show you something cool that also reminds me of, of Century 3. Unfortunately, the person who, run, who was running it did not have an attitude of I want business because he was like, oh, there's an ATM outside, rather, which of course ATMs have, have a stupid fee to withdraw money. But, so, so yeah, I think it's a bit ridiculous that couldn't, they couldn't take my card and give me cash. <laughs> like, if you want business, that's what you do. But they have the Aces Breakaway and Play. Like what they had at Century 3 towards the end of, of that mall's operations. So there's also Caribbean Village right next to it, which a lot of those clothes look sick. And there's that Pittsburgh Top 10 Company that I was talking about. And when I say sick, I of course mean in the best way possible. But yeah, here's your look at the lower level of the mall with those amazing marble columns we've been talking about. This, this mall truly is amazing. Like you've got to come here just to check out the architecture and marvel at the marble, <laughs> let's just put it. <laughs>